want to start off by saying a, a special thank you to Bourgeois Guitars, uh, to uh, of course Dana who builds the finest guitars in the world, uh, also to uh, Andrew Olson, uh, artist rep. He is uh, the greatest guy. And uh, Andrew, if you're on and, and, and watching this, let me know that I'm on the right place, you know, and that I'm doing the right thing here. Shoot me a message or something where I can see you. Okay, right on, man. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Am I on the right Facebook? <laughs> Oh man, I wish I was smarter at this stuff, but I'm just not. So uh, anyway, uh, thank you to all those fellas out there, James, all those guys that work so hard out there at Bourgeois Guitars. Uh, they build the finest guitars on the face of the planet, as far as I'm concerned. And they built this one for me, uh, which is very reminiscent of the uh, the antique of Tony Rice, and uh, owned before uh, by Clarence White. And uh, I am, uh, thank you Andrew, I am uh, uh, very honored and pleased to get the chance to play one of these fine guitars and uh, uh, I really thank the world of those guys. So uh, well hey anybody out there that is left handed you'll be able to follow right along man this, this should be really really good for you so uh, and uh, if you're right handed it should look just like a mirror. <laughs> so anyway I'm going to do my best to, uh, uh, oh by the way my name is Josh Williams and uh, if you don't know who I am, I uh, uh, am playing guitar currently for uh, uh, one of the, the finest people in the business, that's Miss Rhonda Vincent. I've uh, been working for her off and on uh, for about, uh, gosh, it's been 10 years or more now. Uh, I started playing music with her in 2004, January of 2004. Uh, I left in 2007 and went to work uh, with my own band and also uh, with uh, the Tony Rice unit and I got to stand on Tony's immediate right for uh, just shy of five years and about four and a half years until the unit stopped performing and uh, uh, that was probably the the greatest thing in my life that I ever did besides the fact of uh, you know getting to play I've just gotten to play with so many heroes you know and uh, the people that I grew up listening to that were my heroes are I consider my friends now and it's uh, very surreal but uh anyway I have uh, I have crow looking over my shoulder here to make sure that uh, I play with some timing anyway uh, like I say I'll do my best uh, yes I am I see Bruce's uh, uh, question there I am still with Rhonda's band uh, I joined back with Rhonda uh, in 2013 and uh, we uh, the unit stopped playing in the middle of 2012 and uh, I joined back with her at the beginning of 2013, and I've been there ever since. So uh, uh, I'm very blessed to be able to do what I've done in my uh, in my almost 40 years uh, on this planet. So anyway, here's a few songs. I'll try to keep you all entertained, and maybe if I see some questions as I go through, I may try to answer some. And uh, anyway, we'll just keep it loose and have fun. I'll tell you a little bit about this guitar uh, as we go along. Um, and I'll share uh, something that's really cool that I'm very excited about uh, that I may uh, 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 may be doing very soon. Um, I'll share that with you a little bit later on as well. So here's a, here's an old number called "Fare Thee Well." Another time, it ain't the leaving. 
That's a grieving me From a tree that was bound to stay Troubles I've seen Ain't somebody else's or my own With my hand in my pocket And my coat collar high I'll travel unnoticed and unknown So it's fairly well My own true love Will meet another place another time It ain't believing That's a grief Down around the Mexican way They say that the people are all friendly there And all they ask of you is your name So it's fairly well My own true love will meet another place another time It ain't the leader that's the dream That's fairly well, and uh, yeah, I'm seeing some folks asking questions uh, on here, so uh, yeah, that is that is a Grammy behind me that I'm very proud of, and my IBMA awards, and uh, um, got a whole bunch of Spigma awards in here, and grateful for every single one of them. Uh, the community of the of Bluegrass has just been so good to me, uh, and I'm very honored to uh, have the trophies that I do have, and uh, uh, so anyway, uh, yes, the video is backwards because I'm using the front camera on my phone so I can see. I don't have anybody here with me. I'm uh, quarantined and uh, social distancing. So uh, I wanted to make sure that I could see everything. So my apologies that it's backwards. Um, but anyway, uh, I am not left-handed. I am right-handed, but it is the front camera on my phone. Anyway, uh, I'll do another song for you here. Um, actually, I'll do a song that I learned many years ago and then got the opportunity to play several times with, uh, with Tony Rice. And, uh, this is a song that he made famous on his, uh, Manzanita album. And, uh, I got the chance to record this with Tony on one of my albums called Down Home. And, uh, if you have the, uh, a digital version that's downloaded from uh, iTunes there is a bonus track on that album and it is a live cut of uh, my band at the time which was uh, Josh Williams band it was myself and Jason McKendry on banjo uh, Randy Barnes was playing bass and uh, Nick Keen was playing mandolin for me and we played with Tony on the award show at IBMA a few years back and we did this song and uh, so if you get that uh, that digital copy off of iTunes, you'll get that that uh, that live track that was so much fun getting to play uh, Blue Railroad Train with Tony. So I'll, I'll do my best to do it here by myself, so we'll see what happens.
bad, you're making me think of home. I hear that lonesome train, and I love to hear the whistle blow. She's taking the sun and beating the rain, making me want to go. to do all that stuff by myself and still have the time in and all that but anyway this is a uh, this is just what you see is what you get <laughs> all right so I'm seeing quite a few uh, 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 quite a few questions coming up here and uh, um, I uh, uh, no I still haven't changed the pit guard but I got one I'm thinking about putting on maybe I get Dana to put it on for me but anyway um, seeing some questions about this guitar and uh, I am, I absolutely love this guitar. I absolutely love it. But uh, this is one they built me. I uh, I received it um, last March, so I've had it just a little bit over a year. And uh, it is yes, it is a large sound hole. Um, it is a beautiful guitar, and. Uh, Dana really, really knocked it out of the park, and all those guys really knocked it out of the park on this one. Just even as I'm talking to you right here, the guitar's just going nuts, and I absolutely love that. But uh, it has a beautiful Addy top on it, and then let me show you the back here. Look at that beautiful, you can see my reflection in my, my living room, there's my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> but anyway, it has a beautiful sap stripe on it, and uh, it's Brazilian rosewood, back and sides and uh, it is just an amazing 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 guitar it's got the uh, uh, mahogany neck on it and uh, they're they're very keen uh, on on the looks of it and uh, uh, if you've ever seen Tony's guitar um, it's not you know obviously your standard d28 uh, it does have the large sound hole like this uh, when uh, when Clarence received the guitar, when he actually got the guitar originally, it was out of a, uh, uh, I believe Tony told me it was a uh, uh, like a garage sale or something that they paid twenty five dollars for. But anyway, the sound hole was already cut out like that. It was broke, but it didn't have a fingerboard on it, and they didn't think the neck matched it. So Tony's guitar is a uh, is a uh, uh, a very unique guitar in that in that right. But if you notice, it has the black bridge pins instead of white like a standard D28 would have and it has uh, a real pretty uh, black end pen with the pearl dot on it and uh, anyway it's just an amazing guitar I absolutely love it and I love those guys over there at Bourgeois you guys are knocking it out of the park man you guys are absolutely great um, seeing a lot of friends that are joining uh, I see Joseph hey Joseph how's it going uh, saw my buddy Doug Clifton was watching want to say hey to him um, so if you have any any questions about this guitar or anything, I'd be happy to uh, to try to answer them and uh, uh, do the best that I can. 
anyway, um, I had a friend uh, I was talking to earlier. Uh, and they said they wanted me to play this song, and it's been a long time since I've done it. <laughs> If I had my way, I'd leave here today. I'd leave. Bobby Charles and uh, I've been really getting into his music here lately it's uh, it's different but I like it anyway uh, uh, like I say if there's anybody on there that wants to uh, 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 
ask some questions or make any requests. Uh, well, uh, Cody, that song was actually done by Keith Whitley originally. Uh, well, not originally, but originally in Bluegrass with uh, with Crow. They recorded that on the uh, My Home Ain't in the Hall of Fame album, and uh, Keith Whitley actually sang that. So uh, I may get to some some uh, some Keith Whitley here later. I love Keith. We lost him too soon, man. And uh, speaking of that, I want to do a special song. And I've posted this one already on my, my Instagram, uh, but I'm going to do it for you now. Uh, I'm going to do this one especially for Andrew because uh, I know he was a big John Prine fan, as was I, still am, always will be. And it's just so sad that we lost John. Um, <sighs> this COVID-19, man, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying in and uh, staying well and healthy. Um, we lost uh, uh, Joe Diffie and uh, uh, John Prime both to this, to this virus. And uh, um, I just hope you guys are being safe and being smart and uh, man, stay in, it ain't worth it. So let's, let's, uh, let's, let's beat this thing. But anyway, uh, there's a story for, for me uh, behind this particular song, and the song I'm referring to is John Prine's Paradise. When I was a kid, um, I grew up, I was born in Murray, Kentucky, and I grew up uh, in Benton, Kentucky, which is far, far western Kentucky. And uh, uh, I, I grew up with my daddy. Uh, he worked for uh, TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority. And... Uh, when I was very young, we moved from Benton, Kentucky up to uh, Muhlenberg County because my dad was working at uh, uh, Paradise Steam Plant, fossil fuel plant for TVA. And uh, so I grew up in a little community or, or spent a, quite a bit of time in a little community called Ebenezer, which is uh, uh, right there just outside of Drakesboro, Kentucky. Um, and uh, uh, anyway, we had a little place up there that my dad referred to as the Ebenezer Goat Farm. And uh, I, to this day, I do not know why he called it that, because it was not a farm and there were no goats. But uh, he called it the Ebenezer Goat Farm. So anytime that we, when we were talking about home, it was always referred to as either Ebenezer Goat Farm or the Goat Farm. So anyway, uh, so I grew up uh, near that area and uh, my dad, uh, we ended up moving back to Benton after, after a, few, a year or two, uh, but my dad stayed uh, working at Paradise for a while and then was transferred to Paducah to a Shawnee steam plant. But anyway, uh, I can remember traveling on the WK Parkway and seeing the world's largest shovel. And dad, every time we'd pass it, uh, dad would sing this song. So this, uh, this song just has so much meaning to me and I'm going to share something with you at the very end of it. Because if I share it now, I won't get through it. But I'm going to share something with you at the very end of this. And I hope you enjoy it. Paradise. And oh, I'm not left-handed, but it sure looks like it, don't it? child, my family would travel down to western Kentucky where my parents were born. There's a backwards old town there that's often remembered. So many times I had my memories are warm. Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County down by the Green River where paradise will lay. I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train done hauled it away. But sometimes we travel right down the Green River to the abandoned old prison down by Adrian Hill, where the air smelled like snakes and we'd shoot with our pistols. But empty pop bottles all we would kill. Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County, down by the Green River where paradise lay? I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's pole train done hauled it away.
Well, the coal company came with the world's largest shovel. They tortured the timber and stripped all the land. They dug for the coal till the land was forsaken and then rode it all down as the progress of man. Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County down by the Green River where paradise lay? I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking Mr. Peabody's coal train to haul it away. When I die, let my ashes float down the Green River, let the soul roll up to the Rochester. I'll be halfway to heaven with paradise waiting Just five miles away from wherever I am Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River where paradise will lay I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking Just to be by cold train unhauled away Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County, down by the Green River where paradise will lay. I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late to ask him. Be Bonnie's cold train to haul it away. Mr. Peabody's cold There's paradise. God bless you, John Prime. Uh, there's something special about that particular song. The very last verse. Um, when I die, let my ashes float down the green river and let my soul roll on up to the Rochester Dam. I'll be halfway to heaven with paradise waiting just five miles away from wherever I am. My daddy's dying wish was to be cremated. And... He wanted his ashes put in the Green River. And uh, John, uh, Dad and I went to a John Prine concert uh, back in 2015, I believe it was. And I got that for him for his birthday or for Christmas or something, I don't remember. And uh, Anyway, we went to that <clears throat> concert. And on the way, we drove through where we used to live. And we saw the old goat farm. And we saw uh, Paradise Steam Plant. And we went down the road towards Rochester, Kentucky. And... Uh, uh, anyway, we saw a spot. Uh, now, the Rochester Dam is very, very, very old, and it's not like a dam that we would see today. It's literally humongous boulders that have been put in the river to try to, you know, dam it up. And uh, we found a spot right there at that dam, and uh, we got to be just upriver from it. And uh, we put Daddy's ashes in the Green River, and he got to roll over the Rochester Dam. And uh, that happened on Father's Day of 2017. My dad passed away on June 12th of 2017. And the following Sunday was Father's Day. So that was the day that we went and did that. And I got to give my dad one last Father's Day gift. So anyway, I love you, Daddy. And I miss you. But I know that he was probably the first one to greet John Prine when he got there. Anyway, um, uh, hello from Austria. Hey, good to see you. Thank you for joining me. And I saw my buddy, uh, 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 Tim Newcomb has joined with us. So, hey, Tim, how you doing? Uh, anyway, uh, we'll keep things moving. I had a, a request from my friend Joseph to, uh, to play a tune. And, uh, man, it's kind of hard to play without any, uh, without any uh, accompaniment because it's all lead guitar. Um, but, uh, yes, Andrew, thank you, my brother. Glad you enjoyed that. Um, so, I'll try to do this. I may, uh, I may mess it up. And, uh, cause like I say, it's kind of hard to, to do without any rhythm or accompaniment. 
may play it once or twice through, so uh, just to appease that request. So here's a here's a tune that Tony wrote, uh, and uh, I got to play this a few times with him, and uh, um, definitely got to play this a few times with uh, the Rage. We like to do some Tony Rice shows, and we uh, uh, I play you know Tony's material, trying to keep it, uh, that music alive because it's so good. And uh, and it's just to me, it's so intriguing his playing and his style that I just get immersed in it. And I think a lot of that happened because I was standing at his immediate right for so long, and I just got to watch every single move that he made. So it's 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 kind of my goal. To, I'm not trying to be Tony Rice in any way, and I, nobody ever can be. Tony is just the only Tony there'll ever be. And uh, Tony found his own way, you know, for a lot of the uh, early stuff you hear, sounds a lot like uh, um, Clarence White. But as Tony found his own way and his own style, and now, uh, you know, considered to be the most uh, copied guitar player in history. But uh, anyway, I just love the style and I love to learn note for note as much as I can, you know, and, and it gives me, it's, it's like a study for me. Um, but anyway, this song is Tipper. He named it after one of his dogs. So uh, anyway, I'll try a little bit of Tipper for Joseph. attempt to get any farther in that uh, anyway so that's Tipper uh, I had a special request for this song I've had numerous requests for this song and I'm gonna do it for you and I just want to say another shout out to all the guys out at uh, Bourgeois Guitars Dana James Andrew all those guys that work so hard to uh, uh, build such fine instruments and uh, <laughs> One of the one of the reasons that I uh, was very interested in in working with Dana and and uh, you know performing on one of his guitars was because they're just such good people, and that means so much. And uh, you know Dana and I talked, and Andrew and James, we all talked for, gosh, I guess it was a couple of years before uh, I ever had a guitar in my hands. But I just enjoy being around them. They're those that kind of per you know that kind of people. They're just very 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 good people. And uh, I thank the world of you guys, and uh, honored to be here on y'all's Facebook doing this. So this is a lot of fun, man. So anyway, I had uh, some requests for this song, and uh, let me get a little drink, wet the whistle. All right. You know what? Let me let me turn the ceiling fan off. better. That ceiling fan might be causing a little bit of weirdness in the sound. So anyway, <clears throat> here's Prodigal Son. Well, excuse me, sir. Will you do me a favor? You see, I need to write a letter. And I never learned to write. I got a mom and dad. Waiting in Kentucky And I want to let them know That their boy turned out alright Started out near mama Well I know it's been a long time And I know I should have written you But times have been tough But I've been working hard Don't you worry about 
got a date with the hangman's rope at dawn. But I ain't scared, cause I know Jesus. And I know tomorrow I'm gonna make it home. So mama, don't you worry about your prodigal son who's doing alright. Excuse me, sir, would you do me a favor? You see, I need to write a letter, and I never learned to write. <laughs> oh, that's the prodigal son. Uh, seeing some stuff coming up on the screen here, uh, Rick. Yes, this, uh, this guitar is Brazilian rosewood. Uh, I showed this a little earlier, but I can't get enough of it, so I'll uh, I'll show you some more. Look at that pretty sap stripe there, and showing my my laundry and my my kids' laundry in my chair there. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's the beautiful sap stripe on the back of that, and uh, just a, an amazing guitar, an Eddie top. And uh, I know that there's a bunch of guys in the shop over there at Bourgeois watching, so I just want to say a special hello to you guys, and thank you, thank you, thank you for what you do. You guys are absolutely amazing. And uh, I want to say a special hey to Dana, if you're watching. Uh, very, uh, very honored to get the chance to play this guitar and uh, uh, to be a part of the Bourgeois team, man. I just I, I just love it. Uh, thank you very much. I've seen some, uh, some uh, compliments there, and I appreciate you guys for uh, uh, being around and sticking with me here and watching this. We have quite a few viewers. It's awesome. Um... Uh, oh, I had a request. I saw my buddy Jeff Noss is on here. Uh, if you guys uh, don't know who he is, he is an amazing guitar player from up in Canada. And uh, uh, he's a young fella and just absolute monster on the guitar. And uh, so if you haven't heard of Jeff Noss, you need to check him out. Jeff, big hello and howdy to you from uh, from down here in Tennessee. And uh, uh, just uh, uh, I'm going to try this song for you. And uh, when I when I when I finish this, I'll, I'll share a little bit of information for you. Uh, and uh, uh, me and Andrew are uh, working on something, and I'll share that with you in just a minute. So I'll I'll do my best. It's been a while since I've played this one. And uh, if my if my cross picking my right hand wants to help me and work today and do what it's supposed to do, maybe we'll get through it. This is the Church Street Blues. I've been hanging out of town, Lord, even that low down rain. Watching good time, Charlie friends, just driving me insane. Up on a shady Charlotte Street, Lord, the green lights look red. I wish I was back home on the farm, Lord, be in my feather bed. And I got myself a rocking chair to see if I could lose these thin dime hard time that
wish I had some guitar strings, old black diamond brand. I'd string up this old bourgeois box and go and join some band. But I guess I'm a gonna stay right here and if we can sing a while, try to make me a little change to give you folks a smile. And I got myself a rocking chair to see if I can Myself a rocking chair to see if I can lose these thin dime hard time to hell on church street blues. <laughs> oh man, my right hand wasn't wanting to work on that one, so my apologies. Uh, sorry about that, Jeff, but great to hear from you. Glad you're on here. Oh man, so great to see so many people saying hello and uh, and everything. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see, I, oh yeah, I, I was gonna tell you about something that I'm working on. Uh, Andrew and I have been talking quite a bit and hopefully within the next, I'd, uh, I'd say, hey, you bet, Jeff. Thank you, love you, buddy. Uh, uh, I've been talking with Andrew and we're hopefully, we don't know when we're gonna do this yet, but I think on the Bourgeois site would be the perfect place to do it. But uh, I have, uh, uh, decided to uh, you know with all this time off and the quarantine and stuff and just kind of sitting around the house trying to do stuff and I uh, have decided that I'm going to uh, uh, learn note for note hopefully uh, the entire Church Street Blues album so hopefully at some point maybe in the next week or two weeks three weeks something like that and we'll pick a time and maybe we can uh, start you know kind of working towards this but uh I want to do a live performance of the Church Street Blues album. So uh, that'll be something to look forward to, and, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. And uh, probably won't be quite as loose as this, because I don't know how much uh, uh, talking I'm going to be doing at all. I may just go from tune to tune, just like the record would. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that just yet. But anyway, be be uh, be looking for that. That should be fun. So uh, uh, a live performance of Church Street Blues, the album, not just the song. So uh, we'll work on that. Um, I'll, uh, I'll give you one more, uh, that, uh, uh, I did, let's see, I'll give you one more, actually, yeah, this is, a this is something I'll do for a good friend of mine, uh, uh, Critter, everybody knows Chris Eldridge, an amazing, amazing guitar player. <laughs> Chris and I have been friends for many years. He and I and Andy Falco uh, did a uh, thing for Flat Pit Guitar Magazine many years ago, uh, live at the Station Inn. We called it Guitar Mageddon because there was nothing but guitars playing. And uh, so anyway, uh, but Chris and I like to do this one together, so I'll do this especially for him. This is off the Church Street Blues album. This is, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get through Tony's version of uh, Gold Rush. The Gold Rush, they call it on that album. So uh, I'll do my best on this. I'll do this for Critter.
a video of me and a, a critter playing that one night at IBMA, and uh, you should you should post that if you've got it, and if you can post it, uh, uh, Andrew, uh, just to let people see that. But critter and I, critter critter actually grew up uh, around Tony because uh, uh, you know Tony played many 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 years uh, off and on with the with the seldom seen. So he and Ben Eldridge were big fan, big friends. And uh, he got to basically watch Chris Eldridge grow up, and he gave him the nickname Critter. That's why everybody calls him that, but that's what Tony called him when he was little. So anyway, uh, 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 hats off to my friend Chris Eldridge. Uh, that one was for you. Uh, it hurt, and <laughs> I barely got through it. But anyway, um, here's a song that uh, I have to do this song just about anywhere I go, man. Um, the uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I have a... Uh, uh, a video on YouTube that that went kind of viral uh, up to about close to three million views I think but anyway and that happened literally overnight um, but it was of, of a performance that I did in in North Carolina actually in Denton North Carolina at Doyle Lawson's Bluegrass Festival I was there with my band and uh, had Terry Bakken was playing banjo with me that day bird land on me and it was a baby bird that you could hear it during the whole video uh, my friend Ted Lehman uh, requested the song he wanted to get a video of it and there was a bird's nest just above and in front of the stage and in the middle of this song this baby bird decides to take his first flight I don't know and he made it as far as me and the truth be told um, when that happened you can see me jump and the reason that I continue to sing is because all I knew at that time was something big and it had wings had just landed on me and I knew that if it was some kind of a bug I was gonna freak out and then I looked down you know to my surprise and saw that baby bird and uh, anyway the rest is history but you should check that video out if you can uh, and this song's called Mordecai if I can remember how it goes <laughs> On the trail along the rim, his silver head against the mountain sky. And Grandma's face would open up when she saw that it was him. And she'd say, Daddy, grab a chair, it's Mordecai. And it seemed to me he brought a country store there on his back as he laid it all before us on the ground. And I knew he'd finally reach into that ragged old back. Said my papa was a wandering Jew And it's my fate to be one too I roam these mountain trails until I die Perhaps one day I'll see my home Then he smiled and turned to go And we all say goodbye to Mordecai One evening when he stayed with us I saw him at his prayers As the last light trickled through the cabin door before the little yellow candle burning there Softly speaking words I never heard before And I told him how my grandma said it troubled her mind so Such a fine man wasn't washed in the blood of the Lamb He smiled and said, tell grandma if it pleases her to know That she and I both pray to the God of Abraham He said, my papa was a woman and it's my fate to be one too I'll roam these mountain trails until I die Perhaps one day I'll see my home Then he smiled and turned to go And we all say goodbye to Mordecai Now since 
since I left that hillside far behind For a place I've never truly called my home And more and more these days I see him walking in my mind Through the misty mountain distance all alone Mordecai was a wandering Jew in my own way I am one too, I hope to make it home before I die if I finally find my way, I light a candle at his grave and say one more goodbye to Mordecai. All right, the song about Mordecai. No bird this time. Uh, you know, uh, I heard a lot of people ask me about you know what happened after the video cuts off, and uh, uh, I ended up uh, having uh, the bird on my finger. You know, and and I handed him off to a lady uh, in the audience that was a veterinarian. And the story that I heard, and I don't have confirmation on this, maybe somebody can confirm this for me, but the last I heard, she took it home and she raised it and went to let it go and it lit up in her tree and never went anywhere. And supposedly when she goes outside, he comes down with her, but I don't know. I haven't heard uh, if that's true or not. Hey Jake, how you doing? Jake, oh, two Jakes. Jake Vanover, great guitar player, playing with Doyle Lawson. Uh, Jake Patty, how you doing, buddy? Do that one that Scotty wrote. Uh, I don't know if I remember that one or not. Um, <clears throat> uh, Scotty Henson was a guy that taught me how to play. I took banjo lessons from him uh, for about three years when I was a kid, and then just we became just like family after that. And uh, anyway. Uh, I miss him dearly. He passed away uh, in 17 as well, March of 17. And uh, 17 was a hard year, and so was 19. But we're still here, I'm still here, I'm gonna make it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna probably wind this thing down. Uh, Andrew, if you're still watching, let me know if there's something I haven't touched on. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, make sure that I do that beforehand before we end all of this uh but again i'll tell you a little bit about this guitar it's it's an awesome 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 guitar and uh uh the way i feel right now this thing will be buried with me if anything should ever happen so uh uh this is a beautiful 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 instrument and uh uh brazilian rosewood back and sides with a beautiful sap stripe I just can't get enough of that. And I'm I'm surprised I haven't scratched it yet. And quite frankly, I'm very proud of myself. That's very clean still. So uh, uh, anyway, I'm just so tickled to have this. And they got the tuners right too. They had the butter bean tuners on there. Not the uh, not the other style that you see a lot. But this is uh, this is the kind that, that Tony had on his. And uh, it's what they put out on the 35s. Uh, but anyway, uh, what's up, William? How you doing, brother? Uh, Oh, thanks, Danny. Yeah, I, uh, that was a gift from a friend of mine. He gave me that, and I uh, I adore that, man. Uh, and it's so good, and it's literally like a, a resonator, you know, on the, on the back of a banjo. And, uh, man, I just love it. It's just so cool. Paul Burns is that guy's name. Great, great, great artist. Uh, no, Rhonda hasn't scratched this. It's funny you say that, and uh, I hope Rhonda will forgive me for saying so, but when we're on stage playing... Uh, a lot of times she takes my guitar and she usually wears some sparkly dresses that that are not exactly instrument friendly if if you will and uh so i i I play around with her and you know tell her no don't play my guitar and stuff but actually she hasn't scratched it neither one of us have I'm so proud but that that's still a pretty looking back there so anyway uh let's see what am I gonna do I saw a request on there for a uh, Blue Railroad Train. We just did that one. I'm sorry you missed that. So uh, when this when this uh, replays later on, you can catch that. So uh, uh, let's see what else. Uh, I'll do a, an older one here to close out. And uh, this is just a uh, um, just a really cool, cool, cool song that. Uh, it was written by a guy named John Malcolm Penn. And uh, this is based on a true story. Uh, there is, uh, I don't remember the highway, that, that the number of the highway, but it runs from uh, Palm Springs to Los Angeles. And uh, there is uh, an old rundown, or at least there was, I don't know if it's still there now or not, but 
but when I uh, when I heard this uh, uh, story, uh, supposedly the uh, the place was still there. Uh, but it's a it's a very sad song about the moonlight motor in. In 46, we moved out here to Beaumont Start a little business of our own They built the freeway through in 62 Everything we had's now lost and gone I see them in the distance from my window the Faces in the cars look straight ahead they run by too loud for comfort, but too far away to rent a motel bed. So if you're passing on your way from Palm Springs to LA, give away the good old day. Say hello to progress and Sits down by the dried up swimming pool. Can't make the payments on the mortgage. Can't turn the red ink into blue. Weeds are growing through the gravel. The black tops cracked and partly washed away. Our neon sign points in the wrong direction. Moonlight motor in pulls down today. So if you're passing on your way from Palm Springs to LA, get away to the old day. Say hello to progress and goodbye to the moonlight motor in. Get away to the old day. Say hello to progress and goodbye. The Moonlight Motor in. I uh, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate all your uh, all your compliments and whatnot. Uh, left out a big portion of that song, so the story may not make make a lot of sense. But I wanted to keep it uh, very time worthy here. I'm fixing to do one more, and I saw this request, so I'll play this a couple of times through. And then, uh, Brother Wayne, how you doing? Great to see you. Thank you for watching. Falco, Falconator. I love you, man. I miss you so much. So, uh, hope you're doing well. Hope your family's doing well, buddy. <laughs> if you haven't, uh, if you, if you don't follow the infamous String Dusters, you need to, you need to follow them. them they're an <laughs> amazing band. And they're all great friends of mine. I'm very honored to call them friends. And, and Andy Falco is like my brother. Uh, and uh, I, I love you, Andy. I hope your family's doing well. Say hi to your parents for me and your beautiful wife and uh, family and your brothers, everybody. Just say hello to me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, there is a video that Andy did of uh, he was just him and his guitar, and it's Touch of Grey by the Grateful Dead. You need to check that out. It's a great video, man. He did a great job on it. So uh, check out Andy Falco, uh, Touch of Grey by the Grateful Dead. You need to check that out, man. All right. Well, I just want to say thank you very much uh, for uh, tuning in and watching this. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bourgeois, for this beautiful, beautiful large sound hole guitar uh, that is very reminiscent of the antique that Tony Rice has, uh, the old Clarence White guitar. And uh, very tickled to have this. And look at that beautiful back on that.
Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, Falco, we will catch up, my brother. Miss you. So, uh, thank you, Andrew, James, all you guys that are there at the shop. Thank you guys so much for what you do. I know you guys work hard, and hey, you build the best guitars on the face of the planet, as far as I'm concerned. So, I love you guys. Thank you very much for letting me be a part of your family. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, <clears throat> be on the lookout for, uh, uh, you know, for the uh, live performance of uh, uh, the album of Church Street Blues. Uh, that'll probably, we'll probably do that right here on the Bourgeois uh, website or uh, uh, Facebook, rather. So uh, maybe I can figure out a way to not be left-handed whenever we do that. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, stay tuned for that. And uh, just want to say thank you so much to everybody for tuning in. Uh, I love this guitar. Thank you guys. Thank you, Dana, for uh, what you do. You're an amazing builder and an amazing person and an amazing friend. I love you guys so much. Um, I feel like there might be something I'm leaving out. Uh, so, uh, 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 Andrew, let me know if there's something that I'm leaving out that I need to say before we close out here. But uh, uh, this has been fun, man. I, uh, I needed this. This was a lot of fun, and uh, thank you guys. Um, gosh, I don't, I don't know what else to say other than I just had a blast here, and uh, uh, yeah, I'll close out with uh, with the request here that I had. Hi, Jolene. Thank you, honey. Glad to see you. Hope you're doing well up there in Canada. Um, let's see. I had a request for Salt Creek. Uh, I may try to do a little bit of that before. Uh, before we get done here, so. In the key of A, if you guys are playing along. Here we go. specialty folks yeah I appreciate that uh, <laughs> I wish that was how it's done thank you Falco thank you Andrew thank you James thank you Dana all you fellas out there at Bourgeois you build the best guitars on the face of the planet and I'm you can quote me on saying that uh, guys thank you so much for uh, for watching for tuning in and uh, if you uh, if you're in the market for an awesome guitar look no further than right here Bourgeois is the guys that you want to you want to play. So uh, anyway, God bless you. I, uh, I I pray that everybody stays safe and healthy, and uh, let's get through this. We'll all get through it together, okay? Much love. If nobody else has told you today that they love you, I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. <laughs>